Hey, this is Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Pro, and I'm getting ready to give you a little, nice little tip about the golf grip. Now, I don't care what golf grip you use, whether it's interlocking, overlapping, uh, eight-finger grip, it doesn't matter. It's regardless. But one important thing uh, I want you to understand about the grip. Now, you may see where I have tape on the top part of this thumb this knuckle here. This little piece of knuckle right here, this, excuse me, this little top part of your thumb, it wreaks more havoc in itself than dropouts in the Olympics. Trust me on that one. The thing is, is this, is that when we go to make a fist, this little piece of finger up top right there, that's what grips around and kind of hold things tight to activate the upper parts of the arms and the radius, all that stuff there. We're trying to eliminate that. So when you take your golf grip, whichever grip that you use, one thing you want to do for sure, just feel like you're gripping, if you can look here, feel like you're gripping only with using this bone here and eliminating this top part of your thumb. Because what happens when you set up properly, get the proper ball position, get that thumb on there, it allows you to have freedom of your hands going up, I mean, excuse me, of your arms taking your hands up, and it allows you to activate underneath your wrist to set the club nice and proper. What happens is that when we wrap this thumb around, we get up here, and it gets us in a throwing action, just like when you're holding a baseball or a rock or anything of that nature, it creates a throwing action. But it creates the wrong throwing action. What we want to feel is that thumb setting off there, just like I've got with the tape there. So now I can make my swing. And my hands feel free. Once again, this is Charles Calhoun, AKA the Shade Tree Pro, coming to you from Grand Vista Marriott in Orlando, Florida. And once again, always good golf.